Hi, I'm Ellie. I'm a success engineer with Xplenty. I'm here to teach you how to set up your first data flow using the Xplenty dashboard. The first step is to add your data sources and destinations to your Xplenty account. In this example, we're going to move our data from Salesforce to Redshift. To connect to our Salesforce account, all we have to do is click Authenticate and select Allow. Xplenty does the rest. Now we need to set up our connection for Redshift. We will need a few credentials from our cluster to set this up. We'll need the hostname, port, and region of our cluster. Additionally, we'll also need the username and password of a user with read and write access to the cluster. Now that our connections are set up, we'll create our first Xplenty Dataflow package. The first step is to add our source. In this example, we're using Salesforce as our data source. I want to import open leads, so I'll select the source object as lead, and then I'll write a SQL query to limit the results to exclude closed leads. Next, I'll define the schema of our source data. There are a lot of fields available to pull in from Salesforce, but I only need ID, email, first name, last name, company, and status fields. After previewing the data, it's time to save the changes we made to the component. I want to do some transformations on our data before moving it into Redshift. The first transformation I will do is a sort to arrange the data in ascending order by last name. Next, I will use a select component to add a new column for full name. I will create this new column by concatenating first name and last name. Now it's time to add the destination component, Redshift. The destination component allows me to specify information for the table where I want my data added. Now that I've completed building my data flow, it's time to validate by clicking Save and Validate. No errors were found. That means we're ready to move on to the next step. It's time to run our package. To run the package, I need to select a cluster to run the package on. If there are no clusters currently up, I can create a new one. For testing purposes, I'll create a sandbox cluster. After I create a new cluster, I can run the job. The package ran successfully. Let's look at the details where we can see how many records were updated in Redshift. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you think that Xplenty might be a good fit for your company, feel free to reach out by emailing hello at xplenty.com or visit xplenty.com to set up a live demo with one of our sales associates.